So Justin, it feels like you did like a huge study of all the fans of what they wanted to see. And then, and then you gave it to them. I mean, it really, literally, it, it has everything. No, it, it, you know, I think that's, that's the thing about doing sequels, you know. Um, I, I, I take that, you know, I don't take that lightly. And, and it, it, it usually when you do a sequel, it means that the audience likes something and they want to continue the journey. So that means everything to us. And you brought everyone back for that. But not only are they coming back just to come back, I mean, they'll have a really good purpose in the story. And I think that was the challenge, you know. I think when 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 I was approached by the studio of, of if we we're going to do another one, what would it be? It became very clear to me. I, I I wanted everybody to come back from all the other ambassadors, but it had to be for the right reason. So to find that right reason, actually kind of elevated the film itself because then the motivation now has has to have a lot more meaning. So Dom and Brian are on the same side now, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's kind of a whole new element. And then you bring in Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who I think just played that part so perfectly. Yeah. Tell me about how you're feeling about how that turned out. It's great because, you know, I think Dwayne obviously has a thriving career and he's iconic in the action genre. And so for someone like that to, to basically, you know, I could get, I get to meet and, and convince, you know, to be a part of this, for him to say yes, it meant everything to me. It, 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 may, it meant that this is something that we were not only going to have everybody from our franchise, but we're going to infuse it with this other force we knew that we were gonna, everyone was going to up their game. So tell me about Vin versus versus uh, The Rock in this. It's brutal. It's brutal. I mean, it, it's. Uh, I grew up in the 80s. This is equivalent to if, if Schwarzenegger showed up with Stallone and they just go at it in the same movie. And and so we we all knew the importance of it when and the magnitude of, of the fight. You know, when when we all signed up. And so it it, would do, it did take a lot of work. You know, and it took a lot of back and forth. But we that's because I think we understood the importance of it. So I saw the B-roll in this. It's it's insane. I've never seen anything like it. I've worked at Universal 11 years. I've never seen anything like it. You wanted everything to be practical. Yeah. Talk about what that means to the audience. I mean, they get that. They notice that. Yeah, no, I think that's that's the thing that I, I, I think as a filmmaker, I'm always trying to strive. But I think especially on this one, because it's the fifth one, you know, the, the characters have evolved and they've matured. And I really wanted the style to and the tone of the movie to reflect that. And to do that, I wanted everything to be practical. So, you know, it took a lot of, you know, I have the best crew in the world, and we would just, I mean, we literally just had like 200 cars, and we just wreck them <laughs> and, and see what happens. But it took a lot of design, a lot of research and, and, and rehearsals and stuff. But it was all worth it, because this is why you make these films. And finally, final question. I mean, this franchise is still white hot. I mean, it, you can feel it. The buzz is crazy. What is it? You know, I, I think a lot of times, you know, when people hear Fast and Furious, they think of, you know, hot people, you know, hot looking women and fast cars, but it, I think there's other movies like that. You know, the reason why it's, 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 it's thrived is that I think at the core of it, it's really about this exploration of the idea of traditional sense, you know, and, and to be able to see this cast and see that, you know, we have people from all different backgrounds, you know, in this case, it's it actually, I think it's very progressive, you know, for, for a tentpole movie. To see subtitles is very, so I think tonally, that's something that, that we strive for. We try to always push ahead. And I think that's what makes it, you know, that's why we have this great relationship with the audience that we never repeat ourselves. Right, I need to ask one more question. So, uh, uh, you know, this, this film has, has actors and characters from all different mm -hmm. cultures and, and, and parts of the world, et cetera. I mean, that's important for a film like this, isn't it? To just speak to all different audiences. Well, I think that and also, I think as our world is getting smaller, our community is, 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 is growing, you know? And I think the sensibility of this franchise, as, as we're growing and evolving, it's gonna become more global. And it's, it is important. I don't think we're doing it for a political reason or anything, but that's just the way we're going. And, and I think sometimes when we see films and it's still kind of myopic in its point of view, uh, that's something that, that I, I'm, I'm very aware of. And, you know, we have conversation. I have conversation with Vin, you know, with you know, everybody. You know, when we talk about it, you know, this is about tone and sensibility, and this is something that we want to be hopefully ahead of the curve.